Good morning guys, I hope we are all doing very well. Well actually I say good morning, it's just turned 12 o'clock and we are just going to be sitting down to meal number one which as you guys know already, unless you are living under a rock and you have not watched any of my last 50 videos um, that have contained turkey rashers and bagels. Meal number one, eight turkey rashers, two big boy bagels. We have got four whole eggs today, four whole eggs. Now that is a lot of fat. That is actually quite daunting how much fat is going to actually be in that first initial meal. But at the end of the day, guys, you know um, that my diet is pretty trace fat. I don't take in that much. Um, the reason behind that is just purely down to the fact of throughout prep, I pretty much take in trace fat completely, like next to no fat whatsoever, pretty much no fat. Um, and... I've never had any issues with it and whenever I move into my off season, don't get me wrong, obviously I will have trace fats and some other things that I'll take in, but it's never anywhere near prioritising a lot of fats and it's just been a case of I've always been one to prioritise carbohydrates over anything else and that is really just the kind of main reason behind it. I've never run into any issues with it, I've never had any problems with it, so there's really been no reason for me to change or move anything about. Um, aside of that, this is going to be a pretty random video. I know the biggest thing about this, right? The thing that's annoying me the most is I've not picked up the camera as much as what I probably wanted to. There's been a lot happening. We've been back in Scotland. There's a run of bodybuilding shows coming up, which I have multiple clients in. Everything's just very busy right now. Everything's going really well um, in many ways. I, I, I don't really know how else to put it, but it's just a case of there's a lot happening prioritizing my own training and that as well as much as obviously I want to prioritize my business as a coach as well I have to remember that I am also trying to make sure that I am prioritized me as a, a professional natural bodybuilder I'm making sure that I am actually improving my training I am improving my nutrition I am improving my physique um, that tap is so annoying and I hope that that's not ruining this video but at the end of the day guys um, this video is going to be pretty random like I said I've picked up the camera we're back with this video not that I've not been uploading it's just been a case of i've not been doing the filament i've not been doing the editing everything else has kind of been getting done because of course it's been a little bit easier but meal number one is going in we're also going to take in a lovely pink monster ultra because that is top tier of the list right now because we cannot find the red but apart from that we're not going to go on any longer because that is annoying me so guys i hope you do enjoy the video if you do don't forget to drop the video a like for me and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's get on with this day fail to believe that any protein bar on the planet is gonna actually touch these, but I also fail to believe that these do provide the nutritionally dense fats that they say they do provide. I mean, at the end of the day, it just tastes too good. So if there's one thing that I couldn't recommend is, guys, if you're dieting, please stay away from these. These are something like an off-season treat only, and even at that, I would genuinely not even push to track the protein from something like this towards your actual protein for the day. Um, personally, from my perspective, these are just a little off-season um, snack to, to place in. I don't even track these towards my daily intake of protein. These kind of stay away from it. Don't get me wrong, I'll take the calories from them, um, but when it comes to the protein side of things, they're really good, they're really efficient, don't get me wrong, for things like traveling and that. But if you're dieting, you're dropping body fat, do not be having these, stay away from them. lovely package in the delivery here today guys looking at that color there i don't even believe anybody will even guess who this is from but to keep you guys from sitting on the edge of your seats trying to guess what is in this box i'm just going to tell you so first of all we have got a couple of new i'm not even going to take it out of the bag well this one actually is going to fall out of the packet but we've got Gripper liquid chalk and we also have another tub of just strength shop original liquid chalk now I personally prefer liquid chalk over the chalk balls or blocks just purely down to the fact that they make literally no mess whatsoever um, and don't get me wrong the effect and the ego part of being able to go up to a block and be able to get the chalk from it is so cool if your gym has got that and they've got an actual like container that does contain the, the chalk then yes that is pretty cool but trust me if you're gonna try and take a chalk ball or a block or anything like that, even in a tub in your bag, it's gonna make a massive mess and I genuinely just don't think it's worth it. We have got three little cardboard packages here which look like bombs, I guess. <coughs> smelling salts. We have got three of your finest strength shot smelling salts which do send your head absolutely bonkers, especially two seconds prior to trying to pull seven plates off the floor. But trust me when I say this, it is absolutely worth it. This was something that caught my eye. And I, I thought to myself, you know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't get it, but it just, 
I lost all self-control and we have had to go with it. Now it's the brand new 10 millimeter lever bill and what you could only say is neon green. This is by far the nicest colored bill I have ever seen in my whole entire life. And like I said guys, I just could not help myself. From a colour perspective, obviously, don't get me wrong guys, I've had thousands of lever belts. Um, but this one, I think, just trumps all. And I think as well, it does trump the leopard print one. But it's just, it's genuinely just, like, I'm not even that big of a fan of greens unless it's like a nice green that actually stands out. And to be fair, on a belt, I probably would not have went for green. But when I seen this, I was like, you know something... I'm just gonna have to make the order that is gonna have to arrive within the next couple of days and that is gonna have to get broken in with my deadlifts come this weekend. As always guys, Strength Shop, my personal discount code is just Kiffy West. I genuinely cannot thank the guys over at Strength Shop enough because the support that they've given me on the past, I would say upwards of maybe seven years of my lifting career, like I think it's been that long, um, has genuinely been phenomenal. And even prior to me starting to work with them, I always used Strength Shop um, accessories, gear, everything that you need for inside the gym. Um, so realistically speaking, I've not looked anywhere else, no SBD, no um, Cerberus, literally nothing at all. I've only ever used Strength Shop and they have never once let me down. Anybody who uses my code, it's very much appreciated. If you take your training seriously, Strength Shop is the place to make sure you can get all your sleeves, wraps, belts, straps, chalks, salts, leg presses, barbells, other machines but yeah guys it's about time for me to go to the gym I've got delts on the cards today we have got some pre-workout in here we have got intra in here as always from HR labs defib no code carb up level up but yeah um, it's gym time guys delts is on the cards not got a clue what I'm gonna do but I'll be able to take you guys through it when we get there Okay guys, in for some delts and for some shoulders. Now, I filmed the majority of everything here, um, apart from a side lateral movement and a cable front raise, just because the gym got absolutely mobbed by the time I got into these movements. I didn't want to set my tripod up like a tree and just not even necessarily piss people off. It was just too busy to try and set it up and it would get too many people in the background and I try my best to not get that many people if I absolutely can. Um, but as I've said that, there's about 100 people in the background so I've kind of just went back on my word there. But as you'll see from this session, um, we are most definitely looking to build as much tissue as we possibly can. Now, although I go on about it all the time, nutrition is absolutely everything, pushing your body weight, pushing your physique is absolutely everything, allowing yourself to get soft throughout the off-season is very important, but when it comes to the training guys, hard, heavy, basic training is the way forward, I don't care what anybody says, it's not about spending your full session on a cable machine, it's about allowing yourself to learn how to move heavy weight, um, move it with a purpose, be able to move it with um, really good execution and be able to build up the exact tissue that you're wanting to build up, because a lot of people think if they just focus on lifting heavy, they're going to sacrifice their form they're not going to be able to feel anything and everything's just going to go to pot when realistically speaking you have to be willing to learn how to lift heavy um, and as, as basic and as stupid as that sounds you actually have to be willing to learn how to do it it's like you have to learn how to develop the skill of intensity you have to be willing to learn how to lift heavy and that comes over time as you guys know this is a long game over anything else you can't just jump in and, and just dumbbell press 60 kilogram dumbbells you can't just jump in and put four or five plates on a machine it's like a deadlift you can't just jump in and expect to deadlift 300 kilograms for reps it's just not going to happen you have to be willing to place time and effort into it and be willing to make sure that you are up for actually putting in um, the graft of being able to work up the way and, and progress over time because that's where it always does come from it comes from the progressive overload side of things just in general you can't just build muscle overnight you have to be willing to lift your specific working weights for your specific um, alignments and executions of what suits you best and then over a long period of time you keep doing that and doing that and doing that you don't just chop and change things whenever you fancy you don't just chop and change things when you get bored if you've got the bread and butter movements in and, and you know fine well that they are working um it's like the old saying goes if something's not broke you don't fix it so at the end of the day if the plan is working why on earth would you change it that's what we have to always remember here but apart from that delts are done you guys know how to build muscle naturally and now we move on from here i was actually going to go out and pose on that first thing this morning i don't even know if this even justifies how bad that rain actually is right now but I was going to go out and post that first thing this morning give you an insight into the off-season look but the unfortunate part is I am absolutely not going out because that is torrential so we're going to have to wait for post-workout we'll go into the Ultraflex Durham posing room not the most optimal place on the planet but it'll have to do it for today because that is just mental 